Hers is the largest castle in all the land, but it's taken a lot of work for Brooke Irvin to become the queen of party inflatables. I am in the happiness industry. Just Bounce Inflatables has been going strong since 2012. And while Brooke might be the queen of the castle, this little kid is such a miracle. You'll no doubt know the princess. Her daughter, Hannah Day, died in May of 2019 after a long and public battle with cancer. And in the middle of that, a business was born. The whole business started hoping to send our family to Disneyland. I had one inflatable at the time, and uh, I grew the business from there. It blew up. Oh, yeah. Because bouncy castles are fun, even in six oh. inches of water. It's super wet. Last Saturday, Brooke got a call from somebody asking to rent a bouncy castle for a birthday. She brought them this enormous custom-built inflatable. It is very, very large. I mean, it stands about 15 feet tall. The address was on Kualta Crescent in Langford, and they asked if she'd set it up for them in the driveway. Brooke obliged because she trusts that someone renting a bouncy castle will buck up. I texted them letting them know that they just needed to plug it in. Not only did they not pay, they packed up Brooke's castle and bounced. Why? I, I don't know, but they picked the best thing that I had. Turns out the house is vacant, the phone number generated by an app. Brooke posted it all to social media. The castle has been pre-booked for months, leaving her in a lurch. But the first person to reach out was the competition, a company called Funtime Inflatables. Offering me a castle similar so that I could get through the next couple of weeks with the bookings that I have. An act worthy of a little public praise. Hello, Funtime. Oh, hey, I didn't want to rent anything, but uh, I just wanted to tell you you're awesome. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. And Brooke will appreciate this even more. This afternoon, someone spotted a white SUV carrying the castle near the Millstream overpass in Langford. Wesher RCMP has been notified, <laughs> deflating to anybody but Brooke. She just wants it back. She's offering a $1,000 reward and free rentals. I'll even give those people who stole it free castles. They can have free No, castles. you won't. Yes, I will. Because that's who she is. And if you have any information, please contact West Shore RCMP.